all an inversion is, is when you take the notes of a chord and you put them in a different order. So we've talked about chords being in root position and that's when you take a triad um, and you have the note of the chord on the bottom. So the root position for the C major triad is C and then E and G like we've been doing. All we need to do now is think about inverting that chord. So here's one way of doing it. We can do what's called the first inversion where we move the C, we take the C out of it and put in the top C instead. And then we have E, G, C rising up. Now before we start to invert the other chords, I want you to hear how that sounds with the same transition. So replace the C, F, G chords that you've already done, but with that inversion, and you'll get a completely different sound. So what we were doing, for example, was this. Compare that with this first inversion C. Now you'll notice that the top note there is the C, it's the same for the C first inversion and the F root position. And that's fine because what we're starting to do is we're starting to develop an ear for how a melody might go or what the chords would be if a melody were to give us something like We can sort of hear it now, we can ha kind of go, ah, that's one to four, and in the key of C, C to F. Um, <clears throat> so, so that's a really good exercise to do that, and then just do the other things as well. So we've done the uh, go backwards, five, four, one. And um, F, C, G, so uh, four, one, five. and play around with them, play around again with the octaves before you start to invert the second chord, which is the F. So, an F first inversion, instead of F, A, C, we're going to remove the F at the bottom and replace it with the F on the top so that we have A, C, and F. Now, going from first inversion to first inversion, C to F, would sound like that. So, notice how different it sounds. The exact same chords, you know, on paper, C and F major, but sound completely different. They sound uh, completely more open in a way. So, play around with variating between root positions and first inversions between C and F and then just falling back to the root position G because we've not inverted that one yet. So for example, root position C, first inversion F, root position G, first inversion C, root F, root C, and first inversion F, and then C. We'll go, we'll go up. Why not go up to the C, you know, finish higher, that's root position C. So all that's left now for us to do is to invert or first invert that G. So exactly the same principle again. Instead of G, B, D like that, we're going to go B, D, G. Like that. And now what we'll do is we'll just do, we'll do them all in first inversion, so the same chord structures we've done in the past, but using entirely first inversion. So one, four, five. How different does that sound? Backwards, five, four, one. And uh, four, one, five, so F, C, G. So 
So play around with that, but most importantly, don't just stick to learning root, what root to root sounds like and first to first sounds like. Play around with how the different inversions sound between root to first and first to root uh, between different chords, including the same chords. Um, for example, a G root position to a G first inversion in a way almost sounds like you're moving to a different chord but you're not you're just changing that bass note so if you get used to that and then look forward to the next video where we'll start to bring in that second inversion and start to really hear differences